This week on Handyman Corner, we're gonna do a project that really shows you how to make do with what you have. Now, what I have is a leaky roof. Okay, a lot of people would go up and try and fix that leak, but that's because they think the roof will hold their weight. I know better. <laughs> so instead, I'm gonna make homemade beer, then I won't care if it's raining. <laughs> now, the water, of course, is the big ingredient when you're making beer, especially if you're making American beer. So, with the water coming down through the roof, it really adds to the flavor of the beer, and it helps me give it a name. She's coming off a big cedar log there, so I'm gonna call my beer Big Cedar Lager. The woodsman's beer that makes you cut and split. Thirsty yet? All right, the next thing you need is something they call bittering hops. I actually have no idea what that is, so I asked the guys at the lodge, and after about four or five hours, it became clear they really had no idea either, which is amazing when you consider their familiarity with the final product. So I decided to break her down. You got bittering and you got hops. I figure bittering has got to be for your lemons and hops has got to be rabbit food. Well, anyway, it doesn't affect the alcohol content, so it doesn't real matter. Fire that in there and then just uh, put your washing machine onto the pre-wash. Let the bittering hops work for a little while. Wonder where that shirt went. <laughs> All right, uh, once that cycle's done, then what you want to add is malt extract. Now, you're probably guessing this here is a chocolate malt. And earlier this year, it probably was. <laughs> All right, put that in there. And then you start her up on whatever cycle suits the kind of beer you're making. For English beer, set her on permanent press. For the light beer, maybe go delicate. And for a beer that doesn't make you go to the bathroom, just set her on rinse and hold. <laughs> All right, now what I'm supposed to do is add something called finishing hops. Again, I have no idea what that is, so I figure they must just mean the rest of the rabbit food. <laughs> don't forget, I'm making do with what I have. Plus, I don't care. <laughs> All right, when that cycle's done, I'm gonna filter the beer, and then I gotta store it somewhere cold for two weeks. This is now my beer fridge. <laughs> all right, now I got all my pipes uh, running in through uh, through the fridge, where I'm going to store the beer, of course, and I got to come right out here to my beer tap for dispensing the beer. Now I've used the main uh, chamber of the fridge, but uh, you could uh, run the pipes through the freezer if you were, say, making an ice beer. <laughs> now we come to the most important ingredient whenever you're making beer, and that is your yeast. Whatever you do. Don't try to make do in this area. Don't try to use, like, baking soda or dish detergent. <laughs> the yeast is what makes it beer. That's what gives you your color, your clarity, your flavor, and most importantly, your alcoholic content. What you want to do is immediately pump the beer into your storage vat, which in this case is the fridge. Now I need something to make do as a filter. Oh. There, this uh, piece of the shirt will work just absolutely fine. And uh, now what we want to do is uh, just take your uh, the drain uh, pump deal here from the washing machine and just uh, pump her right through. You know, uh, this is actually called wart in here, and this is called transferring the wart. I was going to call it removing the wart, but I thought it would make the beer hard to drink. She's leaking a little. All right, well, we've waited the two weeks, or, or close enough. Felt like two weeks. I'm guessing the beer is ready for tasting. And the beauty is we've made a very own microbrewery right in our very own home. So remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. After a couple of beers, they might even find you handsome. <laughs> and the beauty of it is, we didn't have to buy anything. We just made do. <laughs> or maybe we made doo-doo. <laughs>